So good day, everyone. My name is Captain Pierre Fanet. I am the J6 of 35 Brigade, which is a reserve brigade based in Quebec City. In 2010, the Canadian government decided that we needed to uh, exercise our sovereignty more in the Arctic. So the Canadian government mandated the army to come up with a group of people equipped, trained, and ready to deploy in the Arctic at any given time. Myself, I'm in charge of the communications. Our responsibility was to guarantee that we were going to be able to communicate back with our headquarters, whoever we're going to be working for. So we were fortunate enough to be deployed for the first time in 2012 to verify that the concept we had put together was going to work. So I want to present you my team. First, we have Master Corps Simon Berra. Simon is my geek guy. Anything that has to do with computers, uh, communication with zeros and ones, that's Simon's job. Next one up is Pat, Sergeant Patrick Lévesque. Pat is my money guy and he is my HF specialist. The third guy is De Sergeant Dominique Thomas. Dominique is a lineman by trade, but he's the MacGyver of the section. He built the whole uh, green generator. So he's got electricity concepts, basic knowledge, and then he applies it to meet the requirement I give him. It's a 2.4 meter satellite dish that's hidden inside the balloon, okay? When you're deploying the Arctic, it's mother nature that, that rules. So if you're deployed somewhere and, and because of say a snow blizzard or fog or whatever, and the resupply doesn't come, the resupply doesn't bring uh, fuel, no fuel, you get no generators, ge no generators, no power, no power, no communication, no communication, no security. So we deployed in Salouet, which is the northest village in the Quebec province. We were deployed in February and we reached temperature as uh, down to minus 65 and 110 kilometers of wind. So we were able to confirm the concept of that antenna was going to bring us a communication that we required. At first, we wanted the, the green generator to be the backup to the uh, fuel generators, and now the fuel generator has become the backup for the green energy generator. So we based our concept on two sources of energy, the sun and the wind. When we started the, the, the building of the first uh, green generator, it was the first time that we, that there's one of this system was built. Within my section, we have nobody that's an electrician or an electrical engineer, so it was, there was a few trials and error. So what's innovative about the green energy generators? It's working on energy that's always available. It's uh, working with energy that's non-polluting. It makes no noise. There is no green gas effects. We made it that was very modular. If you need more power, just had more solar panels. Maybe put a third, uh, a third wind turbine. Uh, get three more batteries. You can design it and adapt it to whatever your requirement is. It was never meant to power a city or to power a house, but it was meant to, power, to produce enough power to get your command post working. 